Hi, welcome back to the channel. So last week I did a video on Google Play's new audio narrated audiobooks and I thought today I would go ahead and show you guys the results of my experiment. Um, if you're not familiar with the uh, whole procedure, um, Google, they've released a new uh, feature where you can use the AI voices in order to translate your current ebook into an audiobook using, you know, pretty sophisticated um, auto narrated voices. And um, I went ahead and did an experiment on with using my book uh, Shellout. And I, um, I went ahead and showed half of the setup in my last video. I didn't get to the point where we actually finalized all of the, um, the metadata and all that. So I figured I'd do a little bit of that today just to kind of show you guys what you missed in case you're doing a two-parter. But more importantly, I wanted to show you guys what the results are because I think it's important to know what your expectations will be. So we'll talk about that. We'll look at my... Um, you can actually see, start to see a preview here, but um, it's not the whole story, so we'll get into that. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the book itself because I want to show you uh, how it looks on your store page. So this is the original ebook, and then this is the audiobook. And so what I had to do is I had to crop it down, um, I believe, to 2400 by 2400, if I'm not mistaken, in order to get that to fit. And, of course, um, I would superimpose my original cover over that. Uh, the, the idea is you've got to make sure that it's a square, and I think 2400 uh, is about the right size. Um, you'll also notice that it gives you a new uh, GG key uh, separate from your ebook. So if you're going to be looking at your reports, do keep that in mind, especially if you use a, an app like Scribe Count, which I'm also going to look at here in a few minutes. Um, it won't always necessarily be clear which one you're looking at. So this is where I think you may want to just bear in mind the, um, the analytic reports and kind of memorize which number is which. But if you go into the audiobook uh, feature here, you're going to see it looks exactly like the ebook with the whole kind of Spartan looking design thing here. But you're going to see that you're going to uh, upload your cover the same way and you're going to, um, the content will be based off of the ebook text in which you're going to have to modify. And of course you can set your price. I'm setting, setting mine to free because I wanted to make it uh, maximum temptation for readers to check it out. Uh, and we'll see if that actually paid off. But um, one thing you want to look at when you're setting it up is if you go into the book info, um, don't forget to check these upper sections here. I actually about missed these when I was putting them uh, this whole page together before. Uh, because in order to know things like what your duration will be, you're going to have to actually finish producing it and then go back through and double check that all of these are up to date. And so, um, most importantly, I think it's the settings, um, because you need to make sure that you set your sample length for how much they can listen to. So, uh, don't forget to do that. Uh, you have to do it for your books, but you got to do it for your audiobook as well. Okay, so that was one of the things that I wanted to make sure you all are aware of. Um, as far as the content goes, uh, I believe the final product will tell you how long it is. Yeah, this is where I got the information for how long it is. I just copy-paste it into... The main page so once you do your um, processing it's going to show you all the issue or all the um, data here so it's pretty easy to fill in the rest so um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory uh, stuff you'll pretty much figure out on your own uh, but that's what you can expect when you're putting this together again the, the takeaways here are that the ebooks and audiobooks will be separate uh, gg keys uh, so you'll have different uh, entire designs um, but other than that it's all pretty straightforward um, you'll notice that I've changed some of the the, um, the front stuff because I just I figured it'd be kind of interesting to have something different. Um, do note that you're going to have a bit of an intro that Google will tap on um, outside of your own uh, uh, work here. So you can certainly modify your title page and all that as much as you want, but um, Google will also do its own thing. And um, I actually added who the narrator was. I just think it's fair to, you know, it, I'm not the one narrating, so I think it's fair to mention which one it is. But if you go into the book info, um, into actually I'm going to close out the editing. If you go into the main page here, if I go to Google Play, you're going to actually see that it tells you all of that for you. It'll tell you who the narrator is. It's going to give you the length of the book and all that. And again, this is just based off of what Google will import from your metadata. Okay. And if you play it, you'll just you'll hear what they introduce with. Um, just play it for you real quick. So this is an audio narrated audiobook generated by Google. 
Shingo, a short story. Okay, so you can see where it introduces um, the book, and then it starts cutting into my own, uh, the, the, my own content. So you know, my content begins with the title. So they're adding that first part. So again, you can be aware of that. Um, if it changes how you design your title page, it's fine. Uh, but this is the other thing to factor in: is once you actually produce your audiobook, uh, you're going to have this base page for uh, on desktop, and I think audio or um, your phone will look a little bit different. But this is what your buyer is going to see. So if this kind of helps you also with your design, um, just bear that in mind. You'll notice that I kept mine really uncomplicated. Uh, I advise you do the same because uh, you don't want to make it uh, inaccessible uh, or any part of it awkward for your reader. And of course, it looks nice. It looks like a nice CD cover and all that. And of course, if you have bookmarks, this is where that would go. Um, but you know, of course, you'll do that all down here. But that's um, the Google Play audiobook in a nutshell. So if we go ahead and look at the analytics now, I'll go back to that real quick. So if I go to the analytics, you're going to see how well I did. And... Um, so I uploaded on May 7th. The pink here is going to actually represent what my um, what my audiobook version is. So the um, uh, need to go to unit. Sorry, because again they're free. So you'll see that the red is the ebook version. The pink is the audio version. I've only sold four, and when I say sold, of course, what I really mean is I gave away four. Um, this was uh, 10 days ago. I set it for free. Um, you know, it's a fairly short story. It's not that hard to break into. I did not advertise it at all. Um, this is strictly based off of uploading and running away. So if you have, um, you know, a mailing list, if you have you know, people that you follow you uh, and you send out the invite to check it out, I mean, you're probably going to have much better results than this. Um, this is just based off of random people finding my book. Um, so that's pretty interesting. The other thing to factor into is the narration itself. In particular, what I wanted to show you guys is the um, catalog for um, the general. Sorry, I'm trying to find where I go for that. Um, yeah, so if you go into some of the other audiobooks here, there was one in particular I wanted to look at from I think it was the 20,000 links in the sea is the one I was looking for mm. well anyway um, I'll just pick any random one if we go to the Great Gatsby which by the way is one of my favorites of the old era um, you're going to find some of the one star reviews is probably going to be based off of the fact that you have the audio. Okay, so it's a great book if you like this type of read, but it has way too many fake reviews. It claims to have 102 reviews, but I only found five, and three of those five were negative, so I doubt that these are 4.2 stars, even if with the 2.5 star reviews, I gave the author three stars, but it's audiobook, two stars for the bland reading technique. The The point here is these are auto narrated books here, um, narrated by Mike. This is going to be a common thing you're going to have to deal with is a lot of the reviewers who you give it one or two stars, they're basing it not on the book itself, but on the way it sounds when they read it um, or when they hear it. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. The guy reading this is static. It was irritating. <laughs> I mean, like, no kidding. It's a robot reading it. So, um, yeah, you're going to run into that. So bear that in mind. Um, the last thing I want to show you guys is if you have a scribe count account, uh, do bear in mind that your uh, reports are going to be different. Um, or sorry, they're, they're, your ebook and your audiobooks will basically be lumped together. So if you notice it, back on my Google page, if I go back to my analytics here. You're going to, again, see that the red and the purple are sharing space. I'm forgetting I'm not defaulting to free units. So, yeah, if you see, um, we'll say since May 4th here, there's two copies of the ebook and then four of the audiobook. If I go over to scribe count here, it's going to lump them all together because you can see the blue equals shell out, blue equals shell out. Um, and then you have a, another one that's green. Green also equals shell out. 
So it doesn't tell you exactly which one is which. You just have to know. Um, so just like uh, Google thread count is not entirely clear the, about the differences, only that there's two different versions of it. So um, it mean you probably have to just purposely label like you know the name of your book an audio book or something, so you can see more clearly which one is which. But uh, I just thought I'd share that to you guys. So. But anyway, that's um, the results of the audiobook creation through Google, this auto-narrated feature. Um, I think the, the big uh, takeaway here is not even how easy it is, but just the fact that you are going to have reviews like this. Um, and it's I don't think you're ever going to get a perfect rating because of this. So if you can get a real narrator, uh, I would certainly advise that. Uh, of course, they're expensive, but you know they're talented, hopefully. So, um, you know, if you're if you just need to get an audiobook out there and you just want some excuse uh, for people to be able to listen to your work, I definitely think this is better than nothing. Um, just again, be ready for the possibility that some of your reviews will be bad, not because it's your fault, it's just because people aren't ready to hear the auto narrated voice as an actual legit speaking voice. So, uh, but anyway, there you go. Um, hope that was informative for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just Leave one in the comments below. If there's another angle you want me to look at, uh, do let me know. Um, I try to keep this short because I didn't really feel like there's much more to say on the topic. Um, but again, you know, you guys are more than welcome to to leave some feedback in the comments if you have something that you feel like I needed to address that I hadn't. Um, but other than that, hope you all having a good day, and um, we'll see if whatever the next video may be. I don't know what that'll be just yet, but I'm sure at some point it'll be soon. And we'll all be happy. So anyway, that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks. And don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the things that YouTubers tell you to do. Because that's what they want them to do, right? Okay. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.